Meditation to be done every morning, written by Irina Twitty in 1986. In this meditation, we have to imagine three things. First, we must suppose that we go deep within ourselves, deeper and deeper into our most hidden self. There, in our innermost being, in the very core of ourselves, we will find a place where there is peace, stillness, and above all, love. God is love, says the Sufi. Human beings are all love, for they are made in his image. Only they have forgotten it long ago. When we love another human being, however deeply, there is a place in our heart where this beloved human being has no access. There we are quite alone. But within us there is a longing, which is the ultimate proof that this place is reserved for him alone. Second, after having found this place, we must imagine that we are seated there, immersed into, surrounded by the love of God. We are in deepest peace. We are loved. We are sheltered. We are secure. All of us is there, physical body and all. Nothing is outside, not even a fingertip, not even the tiniest hair. Our whole being is contained within the love of God. Third, as we sit there happy, serene in his presence, thoughts will intrude into our mind. What we did the day before, what we have to do tomorrow. Memories float by, images appear before the mind's eye. We have to imagine that we are getting hold of every thought, every image and feeling, and drown them, merge them into the feeling of love. Every feeling, especially the feeling of love, is much more dynamic than the thinking process. So if one does it well, with the utmost concentration, all thoughts will disappear. Nothing will remain. The mind will be empty. It is a spiritual practice to control the mind and also a useful exer exercise of willpower. After a while, when you practice it well, you cannot fail to notice that this place in the heart and your state of consciousness are one and the same. In other words, the spiritual locality where you find yourself equals your state of consciousness. It is called loka in Sanskrit and it is a state beyond the mind. The mind can only understand things outside itself. In other words, I am here, and there is the knowledge. That's duality. In the higher states of consciousness known as samadhi, you are the knowledge. There is no duality anymore. The understanding and you are one.